We here at Married to the Games are shocked and saddened by the events that have taken place in Newtown, Connecticut, this past Friday. As husbands and fathers, we cannot begin to fathom what these families are going through right now, but we just wanted to let you guys know that we're lifting you up. It's about that time, baby. I know I feel a bunch of games coming on. Kids and wives and nine to fives. But we are married to the games. Zero, one, four. Here we are. We're almost 15 episodes old, man. I'm feeling good, feeling spry. I'm feeling the Christmas spirit all around me. Uh, it's Gabe Patillo, of course, with Timothy Hall and Tim Router. Uh, Tim Router, how's your week? We're a little late this week. How, how, how's things been going? I'm sick. Uh, I'm ill. It sucks. My whole my whole family's ill, <laughs> but it's all it's all good. We're just we're powering through. My my sweet wife. You don't sound good. Yeah, right. You sound I'm like terrible. I know. Right? Yeah, you I, sound I, you I, sound worse than you did about five minutes ago. Yeah, I sound terrible. I feel terrible, but it's it's all good. It's that holiday time, and my sweet wife is just killing it and killing herself at the store with holiday orders and all kinds of stuff. And it's just like late nights and a lot of uh, cereal for dinner and just, we're just, ugh. So and what she's do you got, have? Is it just congestion? Yeah, it's just all a head cold. And, and Lauren, you know, since Thanksgiving has been fighting pneumonia and um, she's actually going to the doctors again tomorrow because she may have this head cold again that might be re-triggering it. So this poor uh. girl has been sick for about a month now. Um, and you know, she's just, I don't know how she's doing it, but she's just powering through and, you know, she's, she's cutting cards and filling out orders and making me do all kinds of stuff around the store too. So it's kind of <laughs> fun. I, I kind of like the hustle and bustle pipers in the back and we have Christmas, uh, movies on, um, ABC family always does their 25 days of Christmas. So they always have something going on. So we're, we've got that in the background and, and we're just cutting and, um, putting mailing labels together and doing all that kind of stuff on top of everything else we got going on. But yeah, so it's just been, it's been nonstop since Thanksgiving really. And, uh, but it's been, it's been a lot of fun and, um, and you know, Piper has been awesome. She's been doing the late nights with us and, and just kind of hanging out and then she'll crash. And then we start the day all over again and do it, do it all over again. But it's just closer and closer to Christmas, which is, great and you know by the end of this week she should things should start slowing down a little bit with with actual you know holiday cards and that kind of stuff and then it goes into more pickup gift stuff so it will be a little less hectic but it's been it's been fun there and you go. um yeah and this past weekend um my family they all live here we had our christmas on sunday so i got to hang out with with my nephew and my two nieces and dan and gretchen and and my parents. And so we all went over to, to my parents' house and we, we had a meal and we had presents and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a, a good time and I'm so excited because my parents got me just a ton of gift cards and they there got me go. like a, a visa gift card. They got me a hundred dollar gift card at Best Buy and like a $50 one at GameStop. So I'm ready to go shop and get some games. So I need some help, man. I need to know <laughs> like, because I can start playing even before Christmas. And then once I, if I get more stuff after Christmas, dude, I'm, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to have a life. I'm going to be PS3 in it the whole time. It'll be great. But um, no, I actually did have a question because I don't know if I, I, I want to get a few newer games, right? But I, I feel like I, I need to get like a few older ones too. Like I know we had talked about, um, I had already downloaded Infamous 2. And I think Gabe, you'd said, yeah, you might want to play Infamous first before Infamous right. 2. So I was thinking about picking that up because that would probably be on the dirt cheap. Exactly. But I don't know. What do you What do you guys think, Hall? What do you think? The infamous games, like the, pretty sure they hold their value pretty well. I think that first one may be thirty bucks still. Oh, okay. Maybe it's twenty now. I don't know. Yeah, but they hold their value pretty well. I mean, it's a good game. So I'm definitely gonna pick up. Man, everybody's talking about Far Cry 3, and I've seen a lot of gameplay, and I really like how it's going. Like, a lot of people say the gameplay's great. It's really open world, so I may pick that one up. 
Uh, I'm pick definitely it up gonna after pick... Christmas, man. It's supposed to be forty bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, maybe I will wait then. Um, I definitely want to pick up Dishonored, and uh, uh, what was the other one I was gonna get? Oh, Hitman. Duh. I was definitely gonna get Hitman as well. So, but yeah, I didn't know. Like, I'm. Oh, the other one is because uh, I've been playing Borderlands now. Borderlands 1, and I definitely want to pick up Borderlands 2. And, Hall, I know why you love Borderlands, man. That is such a fun game. I'm having a great time with it, despite the fact I'm, I'm still getting... I'm telling you, man. I'm getting killed because I'm trying to, to do some missions that are beyond my level, so I'm just getting nailed. And I remember, I think I texted you, Hall, a couple days ago saying, man, why do I keep getting killed by this guy? He's like, do more side missions and level up. And so I did, and it was super easy. After I did a couple side missions, I, I nailed it no problem, and so... Man, it is a fun game. I love it. And I just like the artwork and, and how it goes. It's just, it's really cool. Yeah, it, it gets even better in number two. So just just yes. keep playing one. And yeah. you know what? Finish it because you'll like the story of two a lot better if you finish one. Okay. So, yeah. And then um, I know we talked about this way back, but when uh, Double Dragon Neon came out uh, free on PSN, I just started playing that, and I am super hooked on that. It is just so much fun. <laughs> nice and old school so much is what fun. that is, Jack. It is. It's totally old school. I love the – what's the guy's name in, in Stage 2? The Skella McDon, cause he, or whatever his name is, because he sounds like those old kung fu villains. He's like, ah, come and get me. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's just – it's it? so I can't remember awesome. his I'm name. Like, I'm like, oh, this is the best. This is so old school. It's awesome. <laughs> He's just like, come and get me. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> yeah. Love it. No, they made it super cheesy on purpose. If you go to the uh, the menu where the power-ups are, like every power-up has its own song. Oh, I know. It's brilliant. And all it's the mixtapes. Oh, it's just so classic in 80s, and I love it. It's just oh, it's and the, bringing and the me guys back. in the first stage, when they come out, like when they do a flip, they're like, gymnastics. <laughs> did you notice that <laughs> yeah i did actually that's amazing Fantastic. that's so funny that's so yeah great. it's uh it it so that's so that's what i've been that's what's been going on in my world oh and i have to mention this gabe my man we went and saw gabe in action this past weekend with toby mac <laughs> oh yeah to an almost to an almost sold out i mean it was really close to a sold out bridgestone arena the place was packed and my boy threw it down. I was just, I felt like just so proud just to watch you like do your thing on stage, man. It was oh, great. Man, Hall, I would have loved, you would have, you would have, Hall, you would have loved it. And I know that you I were know. graduating. I know that you were graduating, which you can talk about in a second. So congratulation, by the way, on that. But yep. yeah, Gabe, man, it was a fun show. We had so much fun. Piper loved it. And, and we were just, we were just loving it, man. So that was, it was a, all around, it was a fun weekend and just, being able to see my boy in action man thanks so brother. hang on speaking of that real quick gabe what all do you do again on stage sweat because i keep hearing that you do a lot of things i sweat mostly <laughs> he does <laughs> hall you gotta you gotta hear this he does everything man he comes out and he's like he's a hype man for toby mac for a little bit and then the next thing i know he's putting on freaking drum like marching band drums and then he's playing the drums and then in the next song he's in the back playing the trumpet and then <laughs> then they're doing like an acoustic set on the opposite side of the stage and he's beatboxing the the dude does everything he's the freaking man it's awesome that's so insane you have to i the next time uh, i don't even know when he's coming back probably like in a year or so no we're actually back in february Oh, well, good. Then, Hall, you're coming. We're going. We got to go. There you we, go. <laughs> you got to see him. It's so much fun. So, gay uh, man, you're awesome. Toby, you got, you're got. you the man as well. And I'm just, I was so happy to see that place packed out. It was great. Man, well, I appreciate it. It's, it. It was definitely a humbling thing to come to your hometown and play the arena and it almost be full. It was, it was, yeah. it definitely warmed your heart and it makes you incredibly nervous all at the same time. I kept trying yeah, to tell myself the whole time, I'm like, we're not in Nashville, we're not in Nashville. And then, you know, you make eye contact with five different people that you know and you're like, oh gosh. So, anyway, that's funny. It was, hey, hey, it was a good I meant time. To, I meant to ask you, are you still feeling ill from, were you still feeling ill on Friday night during that? No, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't 100%. A little... Yeah, I got that little flu bug, that little stomach bug that went around. Oh. So I wasn't feeling a hundred percent, but I was pretty close. And then, you know, the nerves didn't help, but you know, I was I was all right. I was all right up there. The show before that, the day before that was really bad, but <laughs> Nashville at least was okay. Oh, that's all good. Yes, sir, yes, sir. So that, 
Sorry, I took up like most of everyone's weekend. So, so Gabe, man, it's all it's all you, Gabe Hall. Whoever whoever goes next, by yeah, all means, go ahead, Hall. You got your new job and everything popping off. I know you got something to talk about. Yeah, yeah, gr- uh, graduating. So, I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, that's cool. I'll never have to step foot in a college again. And I forgot, as part of my new job, I'm going to be connecting with colleges. So I was like, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> out of the yeah, frying yeah. pan at, into the fire at, at yeah. least i'm on the other side of things now so right that's, careful what you wish that's for. a good thing yeah um shoot uh i've been playing a lot of that you don't know jack on the iphone oh yes awesome it's brilliant it is so good on the iphone that game is incredible it really is man it's yeah, so I good really, I really like what they did with it, too, because you don't have to, I mean, obviously everyone is busy, and that's why Words with Friends work so well, because you didn't have to, like, be playing at the same time. Um, With the You Don't Know Jack iOS game, you go and you play the game, and then somebody else plays against the ghost of you, pretty much. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Man, I yeah, really like it. It's really cool how they do the trivia. It, it's really cool how they like they mix and match all the trivia and this and that and all that other stuff. Yeah, you it's haven't just... you haven't played any you don't know Jack games until now, right, Tim? No, this is the first one. So when you when you texted me, I was like, oh, okay, this is this is pretty great. So and I was loving, I got crushed. Same. It's the exact same as back in the day. I feel like, and that's why I love it so much. I was like, this oh, thing yeah, is it's timeless. right there, man. That's really cool. I played the ghost of both you guys earlier, and both you guys crushed me. <laughs> oh, I got crushed like the first, the first two or three. I was like, I was obliterated because I was like, wait, I gotta tap that. No, I gotta hit that. No, ah! I always, I, I always end up winning on the jack attack. Like, I'll go through the questions and I'll do okay, and then it comes to the jack attack, and I see everybody else getting the wrong answers, and I'm like, yes, yes. <laughs> You're like, I got this. Yeah, That's exactly. So awesome. I love how the Jack Attack works because they put those words in there like, I don't know, like it'll say like Willie Nelson and you got to match him up to a song or something. And then it'll just say like pigtails and you'll be like, oh, that's Willie Nelson and you'll hit it. <laughs> yep. Gosh, that game is so good. Yeah, it's really good. My my only thing I, I, I hate for some of these free games, I hate the coin thing. And I understand... They're trying to make it free, and they're trying to get a bunch of people. But I wouldn't mind paying a little small premium to be able to play like as many games as I wanted that day instead yeah, of paying like. I completely agree with you, but then you know I mean? this is the only game that does that that has made me want to pay money. I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, I know oh, I you just too. want to play again really bad. I know, I'm with you. I know. Gosh, that's well, a thank good God game. work has been keeping me busy enough. So it's about to be Christmas. You're about to be off work, so you're gonna. Be- oh yeah. Want to hand over some coins? Did you play anything else, or just you don't know Jack? Um, yeah, I think that's it, man. They had the Borderlands iPhone game on sale for ninety nine cents, but everybody keeps saying it's crap. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, like I'm, I'm, de- I'm debating it. They say like basically none of the story is like it, there's basically no story, and I'm like, well, then there's no point because Borderlands is really cool because of the story, the art. You know the gun thing; they kind of make you chase the guns a little bit. Right. Yeah, but the story is the story ends up being the overarching thing in two. The story is really cool. Nice, so. that's cool. That's Did you know that they um they have uh, the Walking Dead season one for free right now on iOS too? Yeah, I saw they had the episode one for free. Yeah, and then I, they so I they hook it. you in, and then they want you to pay. You did get it? Oh yes. Good, good. Yeah, that game. That game I think would be really great on the iPad. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. I'll tell you about it in a second. Uh-oh. <laughs> it is great. Don't get me wrong. I'll tell you about it in a second. I want to get in the middle of Hall's week. No, Anything? I'm, I'm pretty much done. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you had to throw one of those in there. <laughs> My quota is like one per show. So I, Okay, I that's good. I know. I love it. Um, that's good. All right, Patillo, tell us about your weekend. Uh, It was good. Like you were saying, came home, did a show, was sick. Now I'm better. Now I'm back home. And uh, it's it's been great. Um, The weather's been incredible. It feels like spring. And so it's kind of like, it's kind of got me feeling weird because I'm like really trying to enjoy Christmas, but I'm like out in shorts. And so I'm like, gosh, (laughs) this just does not feel right. There's something like 
sacrilegious about being like hot outside and it being Christmas. You know, for for me, I'm I want it to be cold. Like Toby's with his family in Jamaica, they're used to having warm Christmases. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, man, these last couple winters here in Nashville just have not gotten that cold that early. And so I'm like, I'm I wishing to have a white Christmas, but you know, it's not even kind of close to happening. And so, yeah, uh, I don't think so. Uh, uh-uh. so, uh, yeah, just been at home. It's been good being a dad, being a husband, um, playing freaking Walking Dead on the iOS. Uh, and this is what I'll say about that. It's great. But I feel like on the PS3, number one, I don't think there's a, there's no debate whether screen controls or a controller when you're looking around and stuff like that or moving. I mean, the controller's going to win out every time, I feel like, on that side of things. So I'm, I can see that. I'm yeah. playing on the iPad. It looks amazing. But you know how on the PS3 version, if I'm remembering right, you know how you'll like walk towards something and an icon will come up? And you'll be yeah. like, oh, I, there's batteries over here. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or you have to walk by Clementine and then the little circle will pop up and you can click it and talk to her. Well, on the iOS version, as you're walking, all the icons are up already and you just tap on them. Oh, uh, yeah, that takes the fun out of it. Right. And, and I was just thinking yeah. earlier today, I was like, shoot, like I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this on the iPad, but I feel like it takes the challenge out of it because it tells me everything I'm going to need to do. So like there's no hunting for, oh, maybe there's something over here because like right when it changes, you know, your view, you can see, well, you know, here's batteries or here's your, you know, here's a cane, here's a this, that, and here's a TV, here's the TV remote. And you're like, well, shoot, like I didn't even have to search for anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess there's the puzzle of putting it together and making it work, but still, you know what I mean? Is kind of, you know, so, I mean, it looks great, great game, storytelling is great. It doesn't run, obviously, as smooth as it runs on the PS3, but now I'm kind of like torn whether to go ahead and buy it on the PS3 or to buy it on the iOS. Oh, I would do it. I would do the PS3 then. In in my humble opinion, I would do PS3 all the way because if you like that discovery aspect of it with a controller, then down the road, you're going to hate the fact that everything is readily available to you and all you have to do is tap it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it was really a bummer. And I wish there was like an option like, you know, like easy mode had all of them up and normal had it to where you kind of had to hunt and peck and then hard had it to where there wasn't almost any icons or something like that. You right, know what I mean? Right. And I, so that's just kind of like, uh, I don't know. So it's great. It's a great game. It looks great. It's all the same story and everything. But like that was just lacking for me a little bit when you're wanting a challenge. It seems it's a little spoon fed for me. Yeah, I hear you. If that makes sense. Then then I would definitely say do stay with the PS3 especially when you get to 3 4. Well, you've done 1 2. Did you do I've three, only done four, one, five? I've only done 1 and 2. Yeah, yeah. So when you get to 3 4 and 5, you'll probably want a little bit more control and the PS3 will give that to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um as as a fan and well, as an Uber fan of the series, I I recommend the PS3. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Even though, obviously, like Hall's talked about before, there's no inverted anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you don't here feel we go that. again. <laughs> you don't feel it. But at the same time, there's no <laughs> aiming either. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, instead of, like, having to aim at a zombie's head, you just tap it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so it's like weird, yeah. And okay. so it's funny because the animation will skip forward because you can tap it right when you see the zombie, but the animation might not be for that far away of an action. <laughs> And so all of a sudden the zombie's next to you and you're attacking it with a hammer or whatever. And I was like, huh. I was like, this is interesting. I don't know. I don't know if I love it. For somebody who's not played it at all, then it's good. You're going to want the console. Yeah, I got you. You'll you'll want the console then, especially when it comes to killing zombies and and point and shoot kind of stuff. Exactly. Exactly. Very interesting. Oh, I'm glad you got it though. That's really good. Cause I I was curious. Yeah, I had to try it. I was going to ask you, Gabe, uh, did you finish Assassin's Creed Brotherhood yet? Yes, I beat it on the last day on the road. Thoughts? I like it. Good. You know what's right, funny? I'm giving you Assassin's Creed 3. <laughs> you know what's funny is, uh, you know how you were talking about b- getting sick of Desmond? Is that his name, Desmond? Yes. Yes, Desmond, yes. <laughs> I noticed I don't ever get out of the Animus. 
<laughs> really? So, yeah, I don't like, either. Even though, yeah, even, even though they were like, hey, you've got emails. If you leave the Animus, you can check your emails. I was like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, that's they, exactly what I think. They can that's the thing, you. man. If I was going to get that game, that, that's the thing that kind of turned me off about the first one. If I was going to get that game, I wouldn't want to be in the real world. I would just want to play the game. Right, right. And I'm exactly. with you I'm with you all the way. And Hall, you should definitely try Assassin's Creed 3 too. So whenever anybody, any of you guys want to borrow it, by all means. But dude, I am so there with you. In fact, at the end of Assassin's Creed 3, when I finished the Connor stuff, it went back to the Animus. I stopped. I didn't even bother <laughs> continuing. I said, screw this. I hate you, Desmond. Goodbye. <laughs> Click. <laughs> that is, no, is Nolan hilarious. North still voicing uh, Desmond, by the way? No, I don't uh, think so. I, I don't think so. Really? I don't no. know who it is, but I haven't, I haven't stuck around to find out. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing about the first one. Is I was like, uh, Nathan Drake. I'm playing as Nathan Drake, but it's not really Nathan Drake. Right, right, right. right. He right. can't help it. Like... He doesn't even do a voice for Nathan Drake. Yeah. It's just like it's like a uh, Seth MacFarlane playing Brian. Like he's putting on a voice for Quagmire and for Peter, but once he plays <laughs> Brian the dog, it's just him with like a little bit deeper of a voice. So exactly. anytime you hear him talk, you're like, "Gosh, you're supposed to be a dog." Yeah, way to go, Seth. <laughs> hey, <laughs> um, I doubt there is, but was there any notable releases this week, Tim Router? Um, the only thing that I have is uh, released uh, Bioshock Ultimate Rapture Edition for the PS3, Xbox 360, which is uh, interesting considering they just, you know, give, uh, they just had that gameplay on the VGAs for the next Bioshock. Um, other than that, let's see, Everyone Sing for PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii. Mm. And... Uh, Nah, that's pretty much it. You know what's funny? As somebody who sings for a living, I cannot stand those games. I'm and with you. And it's not necessarily because of the games, though. I think it's my own insecurity of taking myself too serious because people know that's what I do for a living. So they're like expecting me to be able to do it well in the game. Yeah. But that's not actually yeah, how yeah. life works. It's not like if I'm good at Michael Jackson experience on Wii, then I can actually dance like Michael Jackson. I just know how to move the Wiimote just however they want me to move it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I we know exactly a- what you're saying. I think that's how Tim would feel if they released a changing diapers game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Because Tim, Tim is really good at it, and I'm sure he'd get a I'm little a self-conscious. Ninja. <laughs> I'm a ninja. And yes, I would feel a little nervous if I was under the gun. Exactly. <laughs> if, it was, it was, if it was giving you a rating, like, ah, oh, you, you kind of changed that diaper good. You're like, uh, Tim nah, would, man, you know, I do Tim would the have time. the platinum, though. Tim would have the plat on that. Yeah, I totally get the platinum trophy, man. I, I'm a ninja. Ninja. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Golly. Um, yeah, so that's that's all for new releases. That's pretty much probably going to be it for the year because no one, it's really, you know, if yeah, you're a game you developer, th- this is like a death trap if, if you try and release anything around this time. So Right. So now we're just looking forward to January, February. we got some good ones coming in. Looking forward to May. I know that much. Um, oh, I know you are. <laughs> uh, I, had to, I have to say that Anomaly Warzone Earth uh, it was an iOS game. It's kind of like a tower defense game. Do you guys like tower defense at all? I freaking love them for some strange reason. I don't know why I, I love tower defense games like Plants vs. Zombies. And I mean, there's a bunch of games out there. I like the couple that, that I played like, on iPhone, but I think they'd be way more fun on iPad. Yes. Well, everything's funner on iPad. But um, yes. Anomaly, Warzone Earth, it's a really, really cool kind of backwards tower defense to where uh, these aliens have attacked Earth and you're the military or whatever special something stupid and you're actually trying to make it through the maze of enemies so you're like the you know where usually you're the one setting up the towers killing stuff trying to make it through you're the stuff trying to make it through anyway i only bring it up because it's free on psn right now for uh plus users okay and it's super fun on ios i don't think that it'll translate as well onto the PlayStation, but for Plus users, it's free. So try it because it's a great game and it looks amazing on the iOS. And Little Big Planet too, I think, is free again on. Yeah, I have that. I def- that's one that, that I have too. I don't get that. I've game. had that downloaded yeah. forever. I just have not played it. Yeah, Are you talking too. about Little Big Planet too? 
Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if you were saying T O O or T W O. T W O. Gotcha. Two. Two as well is Two. free. I opened it up and then I said, I don't have enough time to play this and I closed it. Exactly. There you go. And Unfinished Swan has a demo that they just put up on PSN too. Man, uh, a lot of people were talking about that. Exactly. So I want to try that one. Yeah, I, I do too. And I, I think I may take a crack at Journey too. I, I think you should. Like, I'd, I'd be interested to, to see how, how that one goes. Hmm. Timothy Hall, you got something for us? Did you guys hear about uh, the THQ bankruptcy? Yeah. Yeah, this is like breaking news. Like, they I did filed hear about uh, that. Chapter 11. Yep, wow. Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Clear Lake, right, is who's going to acquire them? Yeah, and, and people were saying, like, that this was coming. I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I should believe that because I kind of thought it was just a rumor, but I mean, I, I don't get it. Like they make, they make good games. So I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. Saints row. I mean, series. I guess they just don't sell saints row series, red faction, MX versus ATV, uh, dark sider series. There's yeah, there's a bunch of good games in there, but there's not, there's no huge games though. Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's interesting. Like, you know, if a company breaks even, then it's losing money, really? Yeah, I see what you're saying, because Activision can take a lot of risk because they've got Call of Duty. Right. Yeah, so and they've got a It bank. doesn't matter if everything else they make loses money. <laughs> so. Exactly. It's like Big Machine. <laughs> like, they, you know, Big Machine was the record label that signed uh, Taylor Swift. They, like, created themselves so they could sign Taylor Swift back when she was nobody. But you couldn't. Oh, yeah, I, I couldn't name that, you. Yeah. I couldn't name you anybody else on their label. But I bet you they have like twenty <laughs> other artists. But it doesn't matter because yep. they have Taylor Swift. You know yep. what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, yeah, she she pays everybody's paycheck. <laughs> exactly. Yep. She pays. She probably pays mine somehow. I just don't know it. <laughs> some <laughs> it's, some strange it's, way, it's, her money yeah, makes it to your down. pocket. Yeah. The old trickle down effect. That's Are great. you saying she comes to every Toby Mac show? <laughs> no, she doesn't come to any Toby Mac shows. <laughs> Oh, come on. She had to come to like one. <laughs> I'd maybe would. No, probably not. Um, no. Do you know what THQ stands for? Just pop quiz. Don't look uh, it up. No, hit us. I won't. To toy headquarters. Toy oh, yeah, headquarters. that's right. That's right. I forgot about well, that. Well, they were a toy company before they were into video games. They were founded in 89. And so in the early 90s, they, were, they did toys. So they were the, they were the toy headquarters. Huh. Which I forgot THQ, about that is a lot cooler sounding than toy headquarters. Yes. Yes. Um, but that was, yeah, it was kind of Man, I tell you what, that. how long have they had that WWE license, like, locked up? Oh, they've got a couple locked up, don't they? Don't they have, like, Pixar, too, and Disney licenses? I'm not sure. I know they have the WWE one, but um, I don't know, but people play them games. I know people watch yeah. wrestling like a mug. People buy people buy them every year too, even though it's like the same game. So <laughs> reskinned. <laughs> it's exactly. like WrestleMania is like Hulk New Hogan menu. is just somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of Hulk Hogan ripping off a yellow shirt, it's a red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even go that far with it. They just slightly <laughs> changed the color. Yeah. Slowly making their way through the rainbow. They're like, he should rip off a, a green shirt. And then shirt the last next. year, it's just a rainbow shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so great. Ah, no. Come here, brother. Hulk, That's no. That's, it's awesome. Man, THQ. I hope everything works out. They, I mean, it looks like it's not as bad as it sounds. It seems like they've got a plan, and I think they went into bankruptcy just so they could be acquired. Kind of That's thing. very, very possible. Yeah. And so hopefully I think they you know, had an opportunity to shop and sell. Maybe they did just go in to be acquired. That's what I that's that's what I hope. And I hope a lot of people didn't lose their jobs because now's yeah. not the time. Exactly. Whatever they're doing now is what Kurt Schilling's company should have done. Yeah. What us uh, Yeah, because that was just a like big that. mess. Yeah, that mm. was a big mess. I hate I'm to just, see hmm, developers like, like I know what you guys are talking about. I know. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just hate to see developers who like put their blood, sweat, and tears into something to see it all crumble. It just it sucks, you know, because 
there's there's always a market for for people who want to play video games. It could be those you know a those a games that everybody wants, but it could also be these small little indie games. And you just I I always love seeing either new developers or just young developers coming up because you never know what their imagination is going to do, and you may end up like loving a game that's so off the radar, but you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, they put so much effort into it and then it just all goes away. That's right. kind of how Borderlands was. It was it was from a company that had had, you know, Gearbox. I mean, they were they weren't gonna die, live and die by Borderlands, but it had become such a sleeper hit that people really latched onto it. And that's why two had such a big like uh, it it had big sales, you know, right yeah. off the bat because people had been playing one for like over two years. So that's why two was so successful. I love those kind of stories where it's like, and that's why I'm, I'm very curious about journey too, because that's a small, you know, that was, that was a small development and, and even Fez too, like, and Gabe, I know you, you saw the indie games uh, movie. So I, I, I need to see that because I love those kind of stories and just being able to see what these people go through to put together a video game for our enjoyment. And we may have, right. We may love it, or within ten seconds we may hate it, and we'll never play something that they've put years of blood, sweat, and tears into. I That's know. true. I always That's why feel I like depressed that show Shark I... Tank. What's that? Did you guys ever? Did you guys ever watch Shark Tank? It's I kind of the same thing that we talk Tank. about. It's like watching somebody pour everything yeah. they have into something just to get a quick yes or no, but it's an awesome show because I it just shows show. that innovation is alive. And that's why I think Indie Games, the movie, was so great because you're like, yeah. man, people are still coming up with stuff. Life isn't just full of sequels. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. I'm well, with cool. you. It's a great show. I, Lauren and I watch that show when we can too just because I like I like seeing somebody come in and then – you know, either A, their world gets rocked because they're like, wow, I didn't plan for any of this. But I think it helps them in the long run. And it, a lot of those guys, if they're rejected, somebody still picks them up because they love the idea, which I think is pretty cool. So, yeah, it's, so it's kind of like American Idol, the second and third place person still get record deals. <laughs> so, have you guys ever seen that show, The Voice? I love The Voice. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. It's I think The Voice is better mu- than Idol. Yeah, it's, it's a much better show than. <clears throat> than anything Simon Cowell has put together. I agree. <laughs> now, the prize is hilarious because I I think it's really funny that people still think a universal recording contract is actually <laughs> worth something. Yeah. But uh Oh man, they don't care. They just getting signed. Uh, like, yeah, yeah I, cool. Yeah. I I guess. I, I wonder how many records it is. It's probably like you make half a record and then you front the money for <laughs> the other <that>. half. <laughs> right, right. You have to kickstart the rest of it. Yeah, we'll kickstart oh. the rest of it. Speaking of television, we is launching their TV. I think is how you're saying it. TVII. So I'm guessing it's uh, TV. talking about women's entertainment or or we the we you the we you is oh, having its TV okay. launch today. But that's probably the demographic they're trying to get is women and people that are. At home, watching TV during the day, watching TV at night, anybody who, you know what I'm saying, whatever the thing is. I wish uh, I was that guy. <laughs> yeah, right. You used, to be that, you used to be that guy home during the day, gone at night. Yeah, used to be. Used to be the dark night. Um, so they have Hulu Plus on there. We'll launch with it. And Amazon Instant Video will also launch with it. And then Netflix and TiVo will come early 2013. And so it kind of like loops back into what we were talking about a couple of weeks ago about TV changing, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully, you know, with a, with a sexier UI and things like this, you know, we've talked about that a lot. And so hopefully this will be a, a step in the right direction when it comes to that kind of stuff, especially hey, when they get linked in with TV needed it, man. Yeah. Yeah. It needs really it bad. Do. Needs it real bad. So I'm excited about that. And then also on the same note with the Wii U, y'all heard about all them Wii U's getting stolen. No. Man, there was 7,000 Wii U's stolen from the Seattle airport today or yesterday. What? Yeah, they say it was worth around $2 million. And (laughs) I love... Well, good good luck selling them. (laughs) Yeah, right. Exactly. And that's, of course, what the sergeant said. But it was funny because he was like, I haven't seen anything like this. This is something like straight out of the movies. 
And I was like, oh, well, give freaking props to the crooks. And like, there's a bunch of kids sitting around like, oh, yeah, the cops think it's from the movies. Yeah, bang, bang, shoot them up. Let's do this. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, come on, man. You're not supposed to say stuff like that. You're supposed to say this was ridiculous and irresponsible and we can't wait to catch these guys. Not like this is some movie <laughs> stuff. I ain't never seen nothing like this. These guys were slick. Like, oh, this like, is an oh, American great. gangster. That's awesome. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Where's Denzel? Denzel, get in here. <laughs> <laughs> so they said the the worth was around two point two million dollars worth of stuff. Um, yeah. and, and you they'll know, make a hundred thousand of that. <laughs> I was about to say worth <laughs> worth depends on who you ask because if you ask Timothy Hall, they stole eighty five dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> yeah, and, exactly. Um, exactly. They're not. They're not going <laughs> to so sell they use hardly like, any. They may sell a little bit of them for Christmas. But really, I mean, if I wanted a Wii U, I could pretty much get one. Yeah. Well, it depends on where you are, I guess. This was Seattle. And so I wonder if in, in bigger metropolis like areas or metropolitan areas, if like if they're harder to get to. I know it's, it seems kind of easy to get to them, but I don't know. Hmm. 7,000 of them were easy to get to, apparently. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, uh, and they... They use like the warehouse's own forklifts and everything. They must have been like Christmas bonus presents or something from Microsoft or whatever. Who knows? That's a lot. That's a lot of units to put in an airport. But I guess they were probably being distributed to all Christmas the Christmas bonuses. You are you saying you're saying Microsoft would give its employees we use? <laughs> or somebody. realistically? <laughs> Some- <laughs> They'd be like, here's your Xbox, don't play Wii U. You're right. <laughs> Somebody get Kevin Butler over here to play this Wii U. Show us how this Wii U works. Exactly. And sell us some McCormick. <laughs> <laughs> every That's time, great. every time I make chicken at my house, I use McCormick seasoning. Nice. And every time I use it, I think about Kevin Butler now. And does it want to make you play the Wii U? Hmm. No, not go. really. But <laughs> you know. There's marketing. I don't think anything right makes there. me want to play the Wii U until the yeah. until like until like Mario Party 10 comes out, and even then, man, it's got to be cheap. So I love Mario Party games. I love those. Yeah, they're fun. I love those. Um, all right, I got a question of the week for you guys. Oh, hit it! I was thinking about this earlier, and I was like, man, I'm gonna ask these guys what they think because I couldn't put my finger on what this was. Why do comic books that come with a story, that come with character development, have such better movies than video games? Like, why? It's, it's like not even close. Like, these Marvel and DC, I mean, Superman's coming out. I mean, the comic book movies are killing it at the box office. And video game movies are like, I mean, struggling is to be said like, I mean... Video game movies do so bad. Why do you think that is? Hall, you first. Well, I'm going to answer your question with a question. Why do video games made about comic books suck so bad? (laughs) (laughs) Arkham City was good. Arkham 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 City's the bomb. Okay, yeah, okay, that was good. Now that's a good uh, one. Now I'm going to answer your question seriously. Um, (laughs) man, I. I don't know. Is it is it a money thing? Because there's probably less money put into a video game movie, right? I don't know. I, I don't know. Is it a money thing? I mean, because I because you get back to what we've talked about before. Even if something's indie, even if there's not a lot of money behind it, you can still tell a good story and it be good. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's so crazy. Do you think? But, but like, they both have stories already. They both have characters that people love already. But for some reason, comic books have been able to just like, I mean, I mean, Iron Man is so good. I mean, even like the campy Superman movies at at you know back with Christopher Reeves, like people were like, oh man, that's still Superman. You know what I'm saying? And like people still liked it. But then you have like freaking Hitman and Tomb Raider was good for one reason only. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, I'm like, gosh, what what the heck is it with video? Where's the thing that we're not getting to with video games that they've gotten to with comics and taking it over? I mean, Spider-Mans are huge and Batmans are huge. I mean, it's not even close. I want to hear Tim's thoughts or Router's yeah, thoughts. Yeah, it's got to be the fact that the comic book series are have been around and have a longer shelf life than a video game does. 
Mm. Right? That's I mean, kind of what I was thinking too. I, I think yeah. because when was the first Superman and Spider Man issue? Like way back in the day, right? So you have a following, a generations of followers. So I think that that kind of helps develop the story and kind of keeps that in the back of your head, you know, as you grow older. Oh yeah, hey, I remember this or blah blah blah, and it helps develop all the story. It's it's I think it's more of a story development. And think about video games; they set a, it's to me video games. I think set up things a little bit more, and then you go and play. So it's like cutscene intro. Here's this. Now you go and play, and then you kind of forget a little bit about the story. Right, I agree with right, Tim, right. and then to add what he's what like add a little bit to what he said um like comic books are almost like american history type stuff because when they make an american history movie everybody goes out to see it and it's usually good because everybody has kind of a common knowledge about that stuff with spider-man like everybody knows the spider-man story even if you've never read a spider-man comic book you know the spider-man story right you know what i'm saying yeah good point yep you're like right. that, that's what I mean. Me going to see Spider Man, the first one, I already knew the story, and like I said, I I'd never read a Spider Man comic book. You're right. So yeah, I sure. mean, take it for what it's worth. I mean, people just it's common knowledge. Comic books are commonly known things. Is it because so. like the 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 pool of people that know about it is so huge too? Because like you got to remember, like Batman didn't always have good movies. No. And so there's this forgiveness that's there, too, because I think maybe you love the character through something being bad to where video games like Router was saying can be such a flash in the pan. Like nobody knows what Hitman is. You know what I'm saying? It was like me and five other guys knew that that was from a video game but when that movie came out, you know? Right. And so <laughs> it's like, you know, I wonder if there's that forgiveness there because Batman is so iconic that he can have six different guys play him half of them be terrible and still <laughs> and, want to go see the movie you know and then he's, insert an, Amer- he's an american institution man yep and then insert christopher nolan too what'd you say router i said then insert christopher nolan too because that kind of helps the whole batman series yeah that's true christopher nolan should make a tomb raider movie he <laughs> he would be amazing with a tomb raider movie I think. <laughs> yes it would man and i'm telling you if they made if they made another tomb raider movie it would be good but yeah. I think it's time to kind of pass it on to somebody else, almost like they did with the the current video game, where they kind of took it back to the origin. Yeah, I think they should leave it alone. Yep. I think they should really do that with the movie, just to kind of take it back to the beginning and start with a new actress or something. See, I think the only I think we got it. I think maybe the, just the choices have been bad. You know what I'm saying? Like Super Mar- like Mario Brothers. Like how are you really gonna end no, up? Oh, that was terrible. How are you gonna make that cool? That's what I'm saying. Maybe we just don't have good choices to pick from, like comics do. Hey, comics. Can... I'd love to see an un- an Uncharted movie would be great. Yeah, I think Uncharted could be good. I think you know we don't know what Last of Us is gonna be about in the sense that we like we don't know what it's about right now. But like that kind of sets up like a if they did a movie about some like there's been that movie done. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. I am legend yes. or something like that where you feel like, okay, here's exactly you know this guy and here's this girl and they're surviving. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But I think we haven't had the, a big enough pool to choose from like comics do. Maybe that's but like the Fantastic Four and stuff, like you could just do such terrible ones and still have great ones come out. Yeah. I don't know. Man, part of it too is that they always try to do something weird with the story. You really don't have to do that. Just make the story that we all know and we'll be happy with it. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like if they made an Uncharted movie, for instance, just m- make Uncharted 2 a movie. Don't yeah. try to go write a new story <laughs> because it's going to fail. Just use a story that worked and everybody's going to like it. it. Do you have to use Nolan? Um, I think it's something they could do since they have to voice over stuff anyway is just use an actor and then have Nolan North voice him. <laughs> That's it would work. awesome. It would work. He'd voice uh, over a live action movie. I love it. Voice over a whole movie. That's a lot. That's a lot of technical. You guys, you guys don't know a whole lot about uh, like post production currently, do you? <laughs> no, I know a lot about it. But what I'm saying is to do to, for somebody else to do someone else. Would be so. It would, it would so take difficult. a long time. Trust me, to do It'd be all the so lines, difficult. But... It's not like Bane. Yeah, you know it would be like his mouth a... is covered up the whole time. 
It yeah. would be like a kung fu movie, people. Who are we kidding? <laughs> for you look like It'd Godzilla. It'd be like all bad lip syncing and everything. You know what? I could live with that. <laughs> I know you would. I'll tell you what I can live with right now, folks. And this just in. Anchorman, number two, release date set, December 20th, 2013. That's right. That's what I'm looking forward to. One that's, year. That's where it's at. That's yep. if the world doesn't end. Well, yeah. that's true. We got like a day left. We got a day left. Yeah, we I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So, <laughs> Somebody man, sent get... me an email that said uh, the Oreo cookie said it's okay. And the Oreo cookie was right next to the Mayan calendar and they look just alike. <laughs> <laughs> that's Did they great. Really, that's so funny. That's <laughs> yeah, awesome. Look it up on Google. It's hysterical. That is Love really it. funny. Um, so that's it for us, huh? Hall, you got anything else? I'm done. Router, you got anything? Man, all I can say is Merry Christmas, everybody. Yeah. That's all I got. That's all Merry I got. Merry freaking Christmas. Yeah, ho, 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 and everything. <laughs> Thank you, Tiny Tim. <laughs> That's right. And God bless us, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, next time we talk go to see, y'all. Go see Les Mis, Rob. Next time we, yeah, Les Mis. Yes. I don't know nothing about Les Mis. I can't wait to see it. I, I, I literally oh, know nothing about that play. Oh man, uh, yeah, it's you'll love it. I have not seen. I saw the one with uh, Liam Neeson, but I haven't seen that in probably twelve years. So, yeah, I've seen the play twice, and I, I can't wait for this movie. It's going to be great. Yeah, yeah, it will be. I can't wait for like Hugh Jackman to whoop out those freaking claws and just like kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. is, that a, is that a different no! movie? Is that a different movie? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, see, see, somebody somebody shoots him in the head, and he just stands right back up. <laughs> yeah, and the bullet, like, his skin, like, moves over the bullet and heals him. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> the bullet just falls down, and next thing you know, he's pulling, pulling out a lit cigar. You're like, That's where did he get awesome. that cigar from? Exactly. He's well, like, his hair you don't want to make me angry, bub. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> that's so funny. His claws are like silver, though, because it's back in the day. Right, right. They're like, okay, so these can get damaged, so go a little easy on me. And there's like <laughs> old, old-fashioned old Victorian kind of like etching in them. <laughs> oh, my God. We are getting way off track here, folks. How do we do <laughs> we gotta that? We got to get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Gabe, hurry up and land this plane. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh man y'all know where to find us i'm sorry we're being crazy y'all know where to find us facebook.com slash married to the games twitter mttg cast you know how to get a hold of us we appreciate y'all listening uh drop us a line mailbag at married to the games let us know what you think about comic book movies and video game movies man it's a conundrum i don't know what's going on so crazy we need to get our act together come on we're nominated for grammys nowadays <laughs> <Shoot>. <laughs> hey help so me you pick a know. video game too please somebody help me pick video games out i gotta buy some oh yeah router needs help router needs help he's got all this money burning a hole in his pocket but he can't he can't, but the nice thing is is that you have gift cards so you don't get that guilt for not sending it to people in africa exactly <laughs> They're like, what are they gonna do with an Amazon gift card? That's not gonna you help with the cards. Video games. That's right. <laughs> oh God, I feel terrible for saying that. <laughs> I'm Gabe Patillo. That's Timothy Hall. That's Tim Router. We're married to the games. Merry Christmas, y'all. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>